Sure. We ran into a guy somewhere.
There's a green crab that's like a spidey crab, eh? Different. But there's a little green one hanging on to him, like it's his mom. Is there audio on that thing? Yep, you're all gonna be in the video. There's a lot of them. Oh, here comes another one. Ooh. Oh, I have map. He attacked the other one. That was cool. It's a feeding friend. Look at why? Why does my camera not? Shoot!
princess. Oh wow. Oh, it looks like Thomas Pooh. There's the skull. The skull's in here too. Is it really well done? Yes, a skull, almost a whole skeleton.
There you go. Boo! What the hell are you yelling about? You just disturbed me.
free. <laughs> so you forgot the words or what?
fine, but it doesn't look like me. Yeah, I know. I, I, I can't believe I just bought that. Just the first one I yeah. ever used. Yeah. There's one out there. I had a homemade dryer for me. It was a wooden box with an interior target oh. in it. And like, on now? And a couple of rocks. Yeah, and, and I just had it in ground yeah. beef and all kinds of stuff. I had no idea for how long. And, what. and then we went left for 20 days. There's no one else before cell phones or anything. Oh, we were yeah. up in the big thing. Look at the girl. We were so lucky. None of, we didn't get sick. Yeah, I was like, no idea. Most would have to be the same as the Yeah, yeah. Well, the
got eaten by a bear, but we never be able to <laughs> <laughs> no, the, just a few days ago, there were street people. Somebody else? Yeah. I'm not single, right? that I know, but I'm not around all the time. But, uh, it's too late if it's not. But there'd be very few hikers this year, and way down. Oh, really, eh? Because of the weather, you think? The weather is uh, been the best June in history here. Is that right? Because yeah. not on the east I, side of the river. I'm talking about June. Yeah. June is yeah. the best yeah. of it. Sure it. Get the <laughs> wet cold. No, no, you're thinking of May. Um, no, I'm thinking of June. We've had two or three weeks yeah. straight now. Yeah. 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 Nothing but sunshine. Well, sometimes I check the weather gets better on the west coast than the west coast. Well, it hasn't yeah. all winter long it was. It's not all winter, but there were a lot of times. The system seemed to come up over Seattle and Victoria with the northern edge over Banfield. Did you get snow here? I think it snowed once, I'm not sure. Yeah, it did, because it came yeah, in water. Well. Well. So now, this has been built which is 58 feet in this case. But, you know, there's 65 to 70 footers. But where it would vault into the top 10 is, they also measure the canopy and the height. And he says those two would vault it in the top 10. So you can see there's another, a stump of a large cedar over the shadow yeah. there. Yeah. And then another large cedar. And they're all in alignment with those two rocks you saw outcropping in the intertidal zone. So what's happening is, those rocks are, those trees are anchored to those rocks. Whereas the rest of these trees, their roots are in gravel. Now that's an ancient beach that uplifted after the uh, glaciers receded. So every 500, 700 years, as you know, there's a tsunami on the west coast here. And a place like here, it's like, it's a rapidly rising tide. It wouldn't be a wall of water coming in here unless tsunami was directly to the southwest. And our, the earthquake and uh, the uh, the uh, so we helicopter these things down from the. I cut them off the the root. They were attached. They're part of the root, but the log was submerged. These things weathered for centuries, and so they're helicopter. This is supposed to be something in nature around here, which I'm sure you've seen on your trip. And then people are asked, what, what is it? And, and then, but, yeah, anyway, so, this house was built for her in 1921, or they had it built. And uh, the post office and general store was in the front left there. We're going to see stuff at the museum that came out of there. And you'll notice as we go by, uh, the shingles on the roof, how paper thin they've become because of the rain. You can see the nails are proud. Just to give it, put this in perspective, you know, how disastrous logging has been in British Columbia. And not only ecologically, but financially. Like when Mac Mac Macmillan Bodell, who was get deeded all the east coast of Vancouver Island, uh, when they had to sell out the warehouser, they were a wimp company internationally. They had the biggest asset to start with. And they basically had exported BC's wealth and imported debt. It was a hell of a deal. And so here, just to give you, they're all linear thinkers. They didn't think of making special products. Every large tree, which spruce, whatever, could have had two of these taken out of it. it. I can only do one per tree because of the way I do it. But if you cut it in half with a big saw, 
or just ripped it with a big saw. You could make two tables. So I evaluated those cedar, this yellow cedar, if it was uh, yellow cedar. If it was cut into, uh, say, building material, inch to inch stuff, and it was like eighteen hundred dollars. What's it worth as a table? I mean, you know, yeah. they just gave it away. And now there's only 7% of old growth uh, left on Vancouver Island of, of the, of the um, merchantable stuff. They always say there's a lot more, but they clearly the alpine. <laughs> anyway, I better shut it. Really, I had all these huge amount of blocks from excess to the building requirements. And, of course, they're getting cracked. They're no, not really good for much. So there are some... Yeah, it's good wood, but you, you only get a bit off for every block. Wow. Anyway. Those are perfect shake blocks. They look, yeah. Some of them are the primos. Oh, they're perfect. Not a knot or a... Hmm. That's, that's how it's done, and then... This one will go all the way. And we eat off these things at the beach. The corners rounded and of course stamped with the two grain stamp. And you know, it's your plate and your uh, table effectively. It goes across your knees. Oh, wow. And that's, wow. that's, that's a, not even shake. plate grade, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> that's actually done on the flat grade. Yeah. See if you did it vertically this way, you get edge grade, but and it come out like this. What about salmon? Anyway, he had the National Enquirer as well. Matik passed on. But he had this show on Saturdays when I grew up that on PBS. He'd be on a stool and he'd have hotshot PhD students from Harvard and Yale on cushions. He'd be looking down at them so good. <laughs> and he is said to have had the largest working vocabulary of anyone in the English language at the time. Probably. And he just buried these kids. It was just wonderful. But the main reason the inspiration came, he was sitting on a swivel chair. So that's a swivel chair. Oh, oh. And you know, here I'm building this building and I don't have the swivel chair part. You know, it's not a home hardware deal. So the internet had just showed up here. It was like 12, 13 years ago. So I Googled it. Swivel chair parts on the internet. You know, in those days, you had to go through five or six pages to find out what you wanted. The first entry was swivelchairparts.com. <laughs> <laughs> so this little guy called, I think his name was Frank, out of Tucson, in his basement, was selling swivel chair parts. And he had a little catalog on the internet. So I phoned him, I said, Frank, send me the jumbo. And, and he said, Peter, I recommend against the jumbo because nobody's ever bought the jumbo. <laughs> Send me the jumbo. I told him I was building a stool, but little did he know. Like that'd be a mechanism for a big lazy Susan. Yeah. And anyway, we need a demo. And a, and a speech to go with it. And unfortunately, we're, men aren't allowed in there. Oh. Men aren't <laughs> No, all the women that have come here have made a petition. They don't want any men in there. Oh, okay. Making speeches. <laughs> <laughs>
probably 28 volts. But, yeah. but uh, so you can't have power up here. And I have a little shack I built there to house the machine. Right, Yeah, we're on top of the edge. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at these ones up here. Oh look at this one, you can see right through it. Yeah. 20 feet up. <laughs> oh, I have to get my picture taken off one of those. Oh my Yeah, we got a big one coming up, we can do a photo off. Okay. Um, look at this one. It's still alive, too, isn't it? Dave? <laughs> Somebody get in the base of that? Dave, get in there. Like the gap in the middle there. Oh, like that big ready for you. I know. I think we need everybody to stand in front to see how big it is. I wonder if we could join hands, we could get all the way around it. There is a bigger one coming up, but it usually is a photo op. Oh, well, this isn't even the big one. Mm -hmm. Still not the one. Wait this for is, it. This isn't the big one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm going to do this one. I'm Huh, look at this hemlock growing out the bottom of it. Yeah. <laughs> not a, that's not a hemlock. Oh, that's a lot of this one. Or stumps, or trees, or whatever. Can you get a shot of it? I'll take a shot. Thank you. Oh, are you all here yet? We're not all here yet. Wait till John's got the good There's not much uh, yeah. coming in. Matt's got a good shot. Okay. I don't trust that I never get any pictures. I know, I know, I, I have to nag John. <laughs> Wait, group, are you going to come and be in the picture first? So how, what did, how did Cougar Annie manage to cobble together enough money to pay the taxes the and keep the place oh. going? Yeah, it was the last on my, I still John? want my daughter to do well, it. Well, her husband was a remittance man. Oh, well, well that helped. And she had the post office income. Yeah. And, and the taxes were like nothing.
Picture anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 